send it up for the web. Pirate. And all that is, is just a little bit of directional weight. It's going to have to jump for that one. You never saw it. I hope no one's laid a bit of it from there. There we go. Good lad. Come on then. Good lad. Sit down. I made him decide which one he was taking, then I took the option away from him. And then I said, no, I don't, I don't want that one, I want you to get the other one. And then on this, hey, I saw you move your butt then. Always be on your toes with dogs. I'm going to point it in down there, and he knows which one I want. And I'm just going to say his name, Baron. Baron. And then, while he's fetching this runner, there might be another bird goes through the air here. You know, he's marked it, he ain't gonna get it. Good luck. Okay, go. Sit, sit. I'm not letting him have that one because he's too excited. If you keep making the mistake of sending a dog, it's <coughs> gonna rub it in. If you keep making the mistake of sending a dog for every retreat, he's having a little sniff around. Let's give him a correction for that, eh? Yeah. Sit. Like I say, you don't have to be rough with dogs, just be clear in what we want. Every bit of training we do, make sure the dog knows what we want. Sometimes with young dogs, people make the mistake say that dog's a bad dog. Now, is it a bad dog or is it you didn't really know what you wanted? What I'm going to do is just show you how to do a bit of stop whistle with this guy. I'm going to show you a really good trick. I'm going to make him stop on this stop whistle like a little panther. He'll stop, hopefully. I always say hopefully because everything isn't definite. So what we're going to do, we're going to show him this dummy. There we go, sit. I'm just going to throw that dummy up there, look. He knows that dummy's there. He really wants that dummy. But what I'm going to do, this is how I put stop whistle in dogs. Very important to get that stop whistle right. I'm going to make him stop for that dummy. I'm going to call him away from the dummy and I'm going to stop him. But he'll stop because he thinks I'm sending him back for the dummy. I'm not really bothered what he thinks, so long as he stops. So it's just a nice easy recall. Back. And then we're sending him back. So every time he stops, he stops for himself, really. But it doesn't matter. We've got him stopping. Good lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sit. And again, just make feel now. Sit. He knows the dummy's there. We're calling him off the dummy. So he's coming away from the dummy. Then we apply the stop whistle. And then he stops. He stops because he thinks he's going back for the retrieve. He's chilling out now, yeah? So he stops because he thinks he's going back for the retrieve. Don't make the mistake of doing this time and time and time again. Sometimes, always call him all the way back. But again, he knows the dummy's down. Back. And that time he only put one stop whistle in. And again, it's different. Very important, it's different. Ah, ah. Hey. You like showing off today, don't you, mate? Right. What we're going to do is anybody out there wants to test their dogs against mine? Eh? It's a little competition. Come on, there's loads of little dogs. I'll tell you, don't be smiling and walking away. Come on in and through that top place there. We're going to have a game of dog balls, okay? <laughs> So we all know them. Here yeah, now. Sit. We all know what bowls is. You have a jack, and this is the jack. And what we're going to do, we're going to line all the dogs out there. And we're going to put a dummy out here. I, has, I haven't lost yet. See if anyone can win me. Today I won easy. I cheated though. Today I won easy. Yesterday I lost one. I think it was just because I was being fair. Today I'm not intending on losing one. So what I want you to do is just sit your dogs out there, just nice and quiet there. Is anybody else going to have a go? This gentleman's going to have a go. All we've got to do is sit our dogs there, nice and quiet. 
Now I'm going to throw a dummy into the middle. Do you have a go? Come on, sir. This gentleman, I know him very well. And this dog is a very, very good dog. Now, I better beat him still, though. This dog's won many competitions. Don't let him kid you. He's been in it. We're just going to line up here. That's it. I'm going to spook the dog by giving him a dummy. Gentlemen, just step back a bit. Stop cheating. Hey, look at this. They're all cheating already. Right. There we go. There's the jack. So these are our balls. This is the jack. And what we're going to do, we're going to line our dogs up. So if this spaniel was mine, I'd stand right back here, Jen. I'd stand here. Yeah. And then I'd call my spaniel in. And the minute it gets to that dummy, bingo. Stop whistle. And that dog then has to remain seated until all the other dogs, it's hardest for him at the moment, this gentleman. What I want you to do is line yourself up in line with that dummy, please, over here. So you're directly in line with your dog. And what you're going to do, you're going to call your dog in and stop it right on that dummy. Now, the only time I've lost this, this little bloody cocker laid on the dummy. Now, I couldn't get my dog to eat the cocker, or I would have done. Right. Call your dog in and stop it on that dummy, please. Oh, right. Sit her down there. There. Right, so we've got to get closer than that. Line your dog up, please. Make sure your dog sits still. Line your dog up and stop him on that dummy, please. This is the one. This is going to be a test here because it's a good dog. Look at this. Oh, it's sniper mode. Look at this. Oh, a look there. Oh, that's cheating, I'm sure. Right. David. Oh, that's difficult, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, test. test. Come on, man. Hey, watch this. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. She were right, skinny bum, weren't she? Right. Now I've got to knock all these dogs out. I'm going to try our best. If I don't, I'll still win. Stealth mode, matey. Three foot. Ignore all of the dogs. Keep them dogs steady. Now then, I reckon I'm a clear winner. Now, if I, I if any of your dogs would, ah, oh, I might lose here. Oh, and I can never find it. And then you've got to direct it to it. But what I do, I make him pick up. Hey, I saw that cheeky. Sit. Now what we do, when we first start this, every time a dog picks something up, we give it a command. The older trainers used to say, hi, lost, lost there, it's there, pick it up, whatever. I train it with the whistle. And how we do it, every time a dog picks something up, we give him the old whistle. And then if that doesn't, once that gets going and it doesn't sink in, if it doesn't sink in, we just put the dummy on the floor and we'll go like this. There we go. Good lad. Good lad. Sit. So that's what we do. We get our dogs to pay attention. Every time it's near something, I want it picking up. Give it the up whistle. So when it goes out into the field, once I hit that up whistle, I know it's going to stay within a couple of metres of that ball. Very important. When we've got to dispatch birds, hey, when we've got to dispatch birds, something's nice there. When we've got to dispatch birds, I have we had horses in here? Sit. Enough now. When we've got to dispatch birds, we've got to make sure the dog picks it up as quick as possible. So just for the last bit of the demonstration, we're going to get him to pick that up on the up whistle. Good lad. There we go. Thank you.
Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, Hope to see you good. soon. We're going to go down to the uh, the, gun, uh, the demonstration, the uh, scurry plate. I'm going to give the prizes out for uh, the scurry. And uh, thank you very much for watching. It's been great to be here. Show. Thank you. I'm recording it all. I've got 10 minutes of recording. Hey, come on, let's go!